Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of comparing fractions. This is standard 3.3H in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number one of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we've got, well, one equal sign, and then three different comparisons we need to differentiate between, and one of them is going to be true. So what do we know about these fractions? Well, take a look. Take a look at all of my numerators. Remember, our fractions are separated into two parts, right? We've got our top number, which is called our numerator. And in every single one of these, the numerator equals two. Okay, so the numerator is the number of pieces, the number selected, right? So we can just think it's the number of pieces if we're looking at the fraction of a whole, right? Now, the difference is, is we've got different bottom numbers, right? We call those the denominators. And the denominators, that is always going to equal your total number. So in regards to a, right, they say two fourths, right, so you've got two pieces out of four is greater than two pieces out of six. Well, we could draw some pictures to verify because we do have this right here, but the thing is, in order to really make it work, we have to make sure that each picture is the exact same size. So let's do a little experiment here. We're going to draw two different squares here. We're going to see how we can make this work. All right, so I'm going to take that square, and I'm going to break that into four equal pieces. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of go like this. I'm going to try to go down like this, try to go down like this. All right, so if I wanted to shade in two-fourths, we're going to kind of go like that. Now, let me see if I could do two-sixths. I'll do that in a different color. So let's get another square. It needs to be the same size in order for us to compare them. Let's see, that's going to be a little bit harder. I need to go to six pieces. Okay, so I am still going to cut it in half like this. But I'm going to need to kind of go like this, kind of go like this. It's not going to be perfect, but that's about six pieces, right? And then if you take a look, you see that my two-fourths is greater than my two six because this is what we learn the greater the denominator that means the more pieces each shape is going to be cut into so if i were to get a denominator of let's say eight all right watch this well now it's going to be a lot smaller right so if i were to do eight it would kind of look like this you see how this went from a denominator of 4 to a denominator of 6 to a denominator of 8. The bigger my denominator gets, the smaller my pieces get. So if I have two pieces when it's only cut into 4, that is going to be bigger than two pieces when it's going to cut into 6. So this works. Two-thirds cannot equal two-fourths because if the denominators are different, that's fine. They might be equivalent, but not if their numerators are the same. So two-thirds and two-fourths are not going to be the same. Now, C is the opposite, right? It just has these two flipped. But we notice here that when you've got six pieces out of the same size whole, it's going to be a lot smaller. Each individual piece, right, is going to be a lot smaller than, than if I got the two-fourths. So that's not going to work. Now, look at this. Two-thirds is less than two-eighths. I've got eights right here. So let me draw thirds. Thirds are going to kind of look like this. Look at that. Look at that two-thirds. See, I've only cut this hole into three pieces. Look at that two-eighths. I've cut that hole into eight pieces. So my thirds are going to be way bigger because I've only cut that same hole into three pieces rather than eight. So that doesn't work. My answer here is going to be A. Two-fourths is greater than two-sixths.